Once upon a time, there was a kid named Rolando, and when Rolando was in the fourth grade, he was given the assignment to give an oral presentation about California Yucca Indian tribes to his entire class. Now, Rolando did not prepare for this assignment at all, so the night before, he decided to cram all the information down in one night. Now, as you expect, that was an epic fail. Rolando ended up falling asleep. He was going to completely fail this assignment. He did not learn anything at all. But when he woke up, he was in for a surprise. When Rolando woke up the next day, there was a man in front of him. Rolando said, who the heck are you? The man said, hi, I'm Yuki. I heard you needed help learning about me and my people, so I decided to help you out. Come on, I'll give you a tour of the place around. Rolando said, where am I? The man said, I'm, you're in California, silly. Right where you were before you fell asleep. Except this is my time period. I'm, I'm part of the Foothill Yokut tribe. We lived in what is now known as the San Queen Valley, right where you live. Come on, let me go show you my brothers and sisters, except you can't really speak to them because they don't speak English like how I'm speaking to you right now. We actually have a lot of different languages, but let me show you our most popular language. Nowadays, no one really speaks our languages. They're really unique, but now they are extinct. Which is really unfortunate, but there are actually some tribes that still speak a little bit of our language. Also, we don't really believe in the religious religions that you guys believe in right now. We had our own unique religion. Our most popular one was shamanism. Now, shamanism was a little different. We believed that a shaman healer was able to heal us when we were sick. We also had a lot of different unique ceremonies. But our most popular ceremony was the rattlesnake ceremony. We hated rattlesnakes and we never wanted them around us. So what we had were ceremonies to keep them away. We believed that if we danced around the fire for hours, that would keep the rattlesnakes away. And for the most part, it did. We also didn't have money like the way you guys have money today. We weren't able to buy clothes when we were cold or buy food when we were hungry. What we had to do was trade with our neighbors. So what we did was when our neighbors needed food, and we had extra food, we would give them food, and they would give us something else that we needed in exchange. That is how we bought stuff. As you can see, Rolando, we didn't really have the greatest life or the easiest, but we didn't care. We loved how we lived our life, and we loved the way we did things, and we hope we wished it never changed. Anyways, Rolando, you are now ready to give your speech. And in an instinct, Rolando woke up. It was all just a dream. Rolando was sad that his friend Yuki disappeared, but he was now prepared to give the best speech possible. When Rolando got to class, he volunteered to go first. He gave a great presentation. He was able to tell his classmates everything that Yuki told him about the California Yucca Indian tribes. The teacher was extremely impressed with this presentation. She gave him an A+, but Rolando knew he wouldn't have done it without his friend Yuki. He hoped to see Yuki one day again to thank him for all he did for him the end